What is up everybody, I'm Phantom Line and this is the review slash results of WWE Night of Champions. So first off, we had Kevin Owens versus Ryback. Um, actually the kickoff show. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of bored like close to an hour, an hour and a half into the show. Because like they got all the, you know, dumb matches out of the way, I guess, if you want to put it that way. But... The kickoff show started, you know, with Neville and uh, Lucha Dragons versus Stardust and the Ascension. Stardust and the Ascension, also known as uh, Cosmic Wasteland, pick up the victory there, and uh, that's that. And then the the show starts, and then Kevin Owens versus Ryback. I guess it was a decent match for what it was. They're probably gonna have a rematch, of course, like they always do. And, uh, but my boy KO picked up the victory. He's new Intercontinental Champion. I'm excited about that. Glad to see him succeed. And, uh, because I heard that rumors had that he was, like, in hot water with WWE. So I'm glad, like, everything's settled and he's Intercontinental Champion. Because Ryback was starting to get boring. That's my opinion. Then we had the tag team title matches. I don't, I'm gonna, like, I don't know if these are in order or not. But tag team title matches. Dudley Boys versus New Day. And, uh. Dudley Boys hit 3D, and then it was 1-2, and then Xavier Woods got in the ring and broke up the pin. Disqualification, so Dudley Boys won, but since it's disqualification, New Day keeps the titles. So that kind of sucks, and it was a bummer, but Xavier Woods got put through a table, so it's all good in the end. Um, then we had, I'm trying to remember guys, what was it? Dolph Ziggler and Rusev. Um, it was an alright match. Uh, we've seen it for the thousandth time. I'm tired of like all this shit. But Rusev picked up the victory. Like I was hoping. Actually, no, 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 no. My bad. I don't know what I was thinking. Dolph Ziggler actually won. And uh, I, that's why I, I was mad that Rusev lost. That's what it was. Dolph Ziggler actually won. Then I already said tag team. And then we had the uh, Divas title match. And it was Nikki versus Charlotte. A decent match by the Divas, and uh, Charlotte is the new Divas champion, which is exciting, I guess. And we'll see what happens with that. I thought they wouldn't have. I thought they didn't like. I thought they wouldn't do that because of. Uh, I didn't. It's obvious they only did it to break this record of AJ Lee. Now it's obvious. And then we have. It was Roman Reigns. Actually, hold on. It was the Wyatt family. And then Roman Reigns, DM Ambrose, and then Y2J, Chris Jericho. Yes, that's right. Chris Jericho returned, and uh, looks like he's being a heel because he tagged himself in, cost him the match, uh, lost to Ron Storm, and I called that. I mean, not in my uh, predictions video, but what me and my friend Clayton do, we watch uh, pay-per-views, and we are in a PlayStation party. So we talk about it live, and uh, I told him, Chris Jericho's only here to take the fall, you know, for Ron Strowman to make him look strong and all that. And that's exactly what he did. Ron Strowman choked him out, and like, as I said, he tagged himself in, Chris Jericho tagged himself in, and then cost the match. So after the match, it was Roman Reigns and Dean, Ro Dean Ambrose standing side by side. Chris Jericho was like right here, and he shoved his way past him, and... uh Looks like he's gonna, I guess, be a heel. So we have, we had the kickoff. We had Kevin Owens, uh, Ryback. We had Rusev and uh, Dolph Ziggler, tag team title match, Divas Championship. Um, we had Seth Rollins and John Cena. Okay, match. It went on for like about twenty minutes. Cena won. He's still the United States champion. Or, he won the United States championship. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the match card real quick to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. So, one second. Alright, guys. Found out that I was not missing anything. It's hard. I mean, it's not hard. It's easy to forget, like, the full card. Because it's such a long card. And then, finally, last but not least, Sting versus Seth Rollins. A It went back and forth a lot, actually. And Sting looked good. There was one point where Sting, like, collapsed a little bit. Like, you know, was walking and then, like, fell. 
Don't know if it was real or fake, but they had the doctor check on him. So part of me says it was real. Part of me says it was not because like after that, he was like full of energy. And uh, it was awesome because what happened was he did the scorpion, you know, submission, the scorpion lock or whatever it's called. Seth got rope break. Then he like went for it again. And then Seth Rollins like turned it into a roll up, got the victory. And then Sheamus came out after Sting left the ring. Sheamus came out. Bro kicked Seth Rollins, tried cashing in, but out of nowhere, Masked Kane, that's right, not Corporate Kane, but Masked Kane came out, chokeslam Seth Rollins, and then Sheamus was like, one more time, one more time, and then Kane chokeslam uh, Sheamus, and that was the end of the pay-per-view, so decent pay-per-view, I give it a 7 out of 10, I mean, only because the facts that, uh, some of it was a little boring, could have been better, but... Oh, well, that was my Night of Champions review slash results. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.